In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to change the material of a part using scripts. Let's first go to our game and add a part. You can scale the part to make it bigger. I'm going to make my wall taller and I'll move my camera a little bit. All right, I think that's big enough. Now, if you click on your part, you can see your parts uh, properties in the properties window. And you can always go there and change the material of the part manually by selecting a different material from the list. But in today's tutorial, we're going to do it using script. So let's first click on our part and add a script. First thing we're going to do, we're going to declare our variable our local variable to represent our part so local part equals to script dot parent next to change a part you're just going to use that variable part that you have declared dot material set it equals to enum dot material dot and then you get a list you can pick any part you like from this list I'm just going to pick brick and now this statement is going to change my parts material to brick. I'm just going to put in a wait here. I'm going to wait for maybe 15 seconds before I change the material of the part. And if you like to make, um, if you like to change the color to match your, your material, you can do that as well. So let's do that. We're going to change the parts color, part dot brick color, set it equals to brick color dot. Um, we can pick black. All right. And let's do it a couple more times. I'm just going to copy this. I'll paste it down here. This time we're just going to wait for 10 seconds before we change it to something else. So instead of brick, I'm going to change it to grass, let's say. And for grass, I'm going to pick the color green to make the grass looks more realistic. And one last time. This time. So uh, originally, when you add a part, the default material is plastic. So let's return it back to plastic when we're all done. And this time, instead of picking a color, I'm just going to let the system to pick a random color. So I choose brick color dot random. All right, let's take a look. So I'm going to run to my, oh man, I didn't anchor that wall. Okay, let's go back. So just go back to your game, click on the part, and click on anchor to anchor your part. And now we can play again to test. Hopefully this time our wall won't fall down. And after 15 seconds, it should change to brick. And there it is, it has already changed before we got there. And you can see it is a black brick wall. So give it about 10 seconds, it should change to grass. That's grass and it, it is green. And another 10 seconds, it should go back to plastic. And there it is. And the color is a random color that the system has selected. So we, we didn't pick a color, we just say pick a random color. Alright everyone, so that's how you change your parts material in Roblox using scripts. See you in the next tutorial. If you would like to have some additional material to work on prior to the next lesson being posted, you can go to our YouTube channel, Price CP Roblox, and click on the playlist here. We, we have a bunch of different playlists. Um, there are two good playlists for new beginners here, 
The first one is the PriceCP Roblox New Beginner Series, which we are working on right now. And um, you can also go to PriceCP Roblox Extreme Simple Series. Th this series is actually a very good series for new beginners. Um, just start with lesson number 001 and then go go in sequence like go zero from zero one to zero two zero three because each new lesson um the material is uh, is based upon the material that you learned from the previous lesson so if you go out of order some of the um, material you may not be familiar with all right so until next time have fun creating your own roblox games <laughs>